Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you have a problem where you have ABS light on, in this video today we'll explain what can easily cause that, uh, how to fix it, where you can buy cheap parts and tools, not for just GMC Sierra but any car at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to do engines transmission mechanical bodywork a little bit of everything guys we have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs we have anything from american to german vehicles asian uh, anything guys so now uh, if you need to find let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so we'll demonstrate on that generation guys GMC Sierra right here if you have ABS light on what can easily cause that first there are three fuses that control the ABS system guys so where those fuses are located under the hood always check this it could be easy fix on the driver's side here you have that cover remove it and under that cover you'll find the main engine fuse box that we have a layout that will look guys like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly guys why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so ABS light. For the ABS system we need to check three different fuses. Oh and by the way if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We'll put a link in the description of the video below, check it out, you can save quite a bit of money. Here if we come guys, what we need to check, okay, uh, will be first fuse number 9. Fuse number 9 is that 25 amp fuse, right here in our case. Fuse number 59. Fuse number 61. Other things that can easily cause ABS light to be on could be bad brake light switch. If the brake light switch, your ABS light could be on. We have videos on our channels how to test brake light switch. It could be that we see quite often bad ABS sensor, also known as wheel speed sensor. We have four ABS sensors, one on each tire. It detects how fast each tire is going and if one is bad, ABS light will be on. If you want to see how to test ABS sensor, we have the video on the channel as well. Other things that we see quite often could be bad steering angle sensor or steering angle sensor that's not calibrated. After sometimes battery replacement, dead battery, alignment, suspension, parts replacement, you need to calibrate the steering angle sensor if you don't calibrate it you may get ABS light on and traction light on as well so if you want to see how to calibrate steering angle sensor we have the videos on the channel on our channels those are the most common things we see at the garage that will cause ABS light on of course it could be other things as well it could be best a, a bad ABS module it could be uh, bad sensors traction control sensors but uh, usually check fuses ABS sensors and brake light switch and uh, steering angle sensor hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time